Well, boys, as you can see, probably tell by the video, but my uh, Canon uh, camcorder is back in action. I actually went and bought two bit new battery packs for it. Unfortunately, because it's not the uh, kind of batteries that you mount on the back of the camera, uh, you're really only stuck with that power output. Unless, of course, you go with the Chinese ones, which give you a little bit more. But uh, they seem to be working okay. Uh, this is really just kind of a general update video, I guess. As you guys can see, really not too much different. Um, I guess I can start with a couple of the things that I picked up. This mower, this edger, that blade for the edger, and this bag were all part of one haul. I actually had to pay for these, $40 for the both of them. Uh, the mower runs, uh, they both run actually, uh, both do need a carb cleaning. I'm not going to turn this one on just because I do need to replace this. These uh, plastic throttle controls really have a tendency to break. In fact, almost every single mower, or edger, or anything else that I've picked up that's had these, they've always been broken. So, it does need a new one of those, and at the very least, a good cleaning. Uh, I haven't checked the oil level on this yet. Looks like it's in really good condition as well. McLean is actually still around, too. They, uh, they make some good quality stuff. Now, this lawnmower has a 2008 model, and I could guess that that one's a 2008 or newer. Um, but this one is a Craftsman 6 and 3 quarter. Uh, that's actually torque. They stopped rating mower engines and horsepower. It does need a good cleaning, but largely it has been taken, taken good care of. Um, I have not flipped it over yet to inspect the blade. There's a couple nicks in it, but nothing too major. Might just need a quick sharpen. Uh, it does run okay. In fact, I'll start it up for you guys. Interesting gas cap. There's a little bit of gas in there. The oil level's uh, good. Wheels all seem to develop this problem where the treads kind of come off here on the sides. So we zip tied them back on there. It's probably not going to be, uh, well, I do have another pair of wheels that I could put on there, so that's not that big of a deal. Unfortunately, it is the ready start, so it does not have a primer on it. I really don't like this setup. They start to have issues and they just become very tipper metal. This one's on its way to becoming like that. I'm not going to let it run for too long. That was definitely more apparent. In the second startup, it belched out a little bit of black smoke. It's running a little rich when it first starts up. Um, it's not enough to flood it or anything, but uh, it's enough for me to want to pull the carburetor off and just give it a good thorough cleaning. Like I said, these ready start mowers can just become very, very temperamental. Uh, so oftentimes it's best to just clean them out you know, every so often, even if they're, they are running fine, that can really alleviate a lot of the issues that you have with them. Now the grass bag, next to the heroin spoon, get that out of there. The grass bag is largely in really good shape. Most of the time when I pick these up, they're always ripped around here, which is a little bit of fray here, but uh, really it's in really good condition. Now the guy wanted to get rid of these because I guess he moved to a house that didn't have a small enough lawn so he was using his ride-on tractor to mow the lawns um, so he didn't need these which is fine with me but uh anyways you guys can expect a video on those at some point this one i still have i pulled it off of craigslist before i left for texas that it'll be back on there at some point Uh, I'd really like to find a grass bag for this, but hopefully I can sell it as is. 
some people, actually a lot of people, only want to buy a mower if there's a grass bag that's included. And then I haven't, ha I haven't tested this. I haven't even tested that one yet. But I found this one on the side of the road. It's an HP flat screen monitor. It looks to be in really good condition. I didn't even plug it in to turn it on at all. And so of course it works fine. There is not a single issue with it. The only thing that sucks about this thing is there's no HDMI port on it. And it wants to adjust now. There we go. Looks a little bit better. Just auto adjusted. Not bad. Not bad for free, boys. I would like to set this up in a twin monitor system for my computer right here. Uh, the only thing that sucks is I'm running a HDMI port or HDMI cable to my monitor. The Ghetto Hillbilly one, I'm watching your video right now, but anyways, I would like to do an HDMI, or not HDMI, but a split monitor, which I think I can, and I don't know if I have a splitter on hand. I think I might somewhere. I haven't really gotten too much to all this other stuff that I've picked up and acquired. Um, I've been working a shitload lately, boys. I also cut my hair. Uh, 20 hours of overtime this week. Last week I was in Texas. So obviously I wasn't here to do anything. Um, of course I did get you guys some videos. You saw both of them. You saw the update video I made in Texas. And then this week you saw the hotel tour that um, showed up on Monday. And then today's uh, Silverado video. So hopefully I can keep providing you guys with some videos. But it looks like uh, if things keep going the way they're going, it, probably going to be the weekends that I'm going to be doing most of my filming. We could probably still get you guys some stuff here during the week. The thing is, working these military jobs, um, the scheduling can be very erratic. Uh, it can be literally all over the place. In fact, uh, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday night, I was at work till midnight. <laughs> that was a 16-hour day, by the way. Uh, 7 o'clock to 12. I've had a lot of long days so far. So, actually, I've been really fucking tired all week just because of the way the scheduling is for this new job. But uh, for the most part, it's going to work out pretty good. Shut the door here. Uh, it seems like it's going to work out pretty good for me. Um, I've definitely been a lot happier. There is not near as many stressors. Um, with this new job as there was with my old one. It's looking pretty good now for the most part. Just stay tuned and uh, stay classy.